Hey guys, today I've started working on something that I've been meaning to for a while now. You remember the Berserk that I picked up about a year ago, the cabinet that I picked up. I'm starting to work on that and I want to, uh, you know, slowly over time we'll, we'll see what we can do with it and uh, get that thing put together. Let's do it. Let's head out. Start with part one. Hello everyone. Well, I've decided that today is the day. It is the 10th of October. No, it isn't. It's the 10th of September. 2023. And yes, I have decided today is the day that I start looking into this. This berserk game that I picked up. cabinet is decent this was painted over or something I don't know I can eventually get that out I think but the side art the robot dudes are good um has this in there but I did acquire this so I have a marquee the glass is there I have this I've acquired that. This is the original. And I also have a donation of a Repro Berserk panel. Here's the board set. This was also a donation. You all know who you are. Thank you very much. This is going to be put to great use and great love, I'll tell you. I don't even know if this board set works. It doesn't matter if it doesn't. If it doesn't work, we'll make it work. I've actually got a full working Berserk board set packed away somewhere. But uh, yeah, we'll make this one work. Berserk. We have, come around the back, just some junk thrown in here. There's harnesses. I have a harness for the boards, but I think that one has one, don't it? Yeah, that has, a, that has the harness on it, so I don't even need that. I have the, another donation was the rail that goes in the bottom of the cabinet. So I have that. I have a shroud, more wiring in there. I have, there's the uh, monitor support that goes in here. But I need the... Uh, side brackets that don't have side brackets on it but i have this cabinet over here this is a stern cabinet that has those very side brackets so yeah i'll go ahead and take them from this back door there's a back door there i can use yeah so i'll take certain parts off of this and put into that and this is just a painted over scramble cabinet I believe that I don't have any use for so I don't know what I'm going to do with that same with the battle zone cabinet I, I have no use for that so I don't know what I'm going to do with it my friend Todd just needed somewhere to put it and I told him he could put it over here but I, I really don't have any use for this thing if somebody wants this I'm in Michigan mid Michigan ish you know around Flint Flint suburbs if anyone wants this you are welcome to come and pick it up because I don't want nothing I don't have nothing to do with it or this I'm not doing anything with them so but berserk I'm looking forward to getting berserk rolling so what's the first thing we're going to do well I guess the first thing we can do is I'll work on the cabinet first. I'll get this thing situated, put in there, get this cleaned up. Maybe use some compressed air to blow this out. Get the rails right. Make it to where the boards, the the boards uh, set the wood will slide in and out of here good. Kind of go from there, but I need to clean up in here. I want to blow this out really good. It's kind of a mess, so. That'll be the first order of business is let's work on this and I'll check the coin door too. I might I might swap coin doors. I don't know. 
Yeah, they painted over the stern on this. So I'm definitely going to use that coin door. But that one's got that stupid lock bar thing on it. Goodness. This is a better coin door. Maybe I can get that stern decal. I don't want to have to deal with cleaning. You know, this is... Yeah, I don't know. It looks like they took it... They took that off. They took that decal right off or they painted over. I, I don't know what they did. That looks like it's actually a sticker decal. It is. Yeah, they pulled that decal off. I don't know. Something to think about. What I want to do. Yeah, but this thing, once it's done, is going right next to Space Invaders. Right in that hole right there. That's where the Berserk's going to go. And it'll get played quite often, I think. Because I love this game. And, you know, my brother, I have a brother who loves this game as well. He'll probably love playing it. Yeah, so. First thing I'm going to do is just kind of work on getting the cabinet decent. I'm going to push it right out of here. Right out there. And I'll get the air compressor out and we'll blow this thing out. Clean it out a little bit. Yeah, this thing was a mess. Disaster. Got it blown out pretty good. This harness, the original harness in here, is hacked down here. And it's dirty. The good news is, is I have an unhacked harness that's pretty clean right here. It's not hacked. The only thing that's hacked, if you will, on it, is right here and that is where the power cord connects so I can put a different connector on there no problem yeah so what I'm gonna do is just straight up replace yeah here's the uh, the uh, interlock switch they removed it and just taped it shut up there And I got a volume control there, I guess. And a power outlet. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and remove this stuff. I'll be back. I'm going to take this stuff off. It all needs to be cleaned up and removed anyway. So the speaker grill's good. That's cool. Yeah. All right. I'll be back. All in all, I believe this is a pretty solid cabinet. I'm happy with it. I think I paid a hundred bucks for this cabinet. I'm cool with that. One thing I do want to do is I want to do a video documentation slow over this harness so that I have some reference when I go to install the, the other harness. So let's just take a peek. These are this end. Man, mosquitoes are terrible. Okay. Okay, and there's that connector for the power cord and it comes up let's go this way first there's the hookups for the volume and the uh, service outlet and up oh, there's your coin door plug I believe no that's not your coin door plug that is your control panel plug hanging down and then it comes over and that is, I don't know what that is, but that's taped off. What is that? No, no. Anyway, goes down. That's the coin door plug. Goes off to the coin door. 
Okay. Yep. Yipper. And we, here's our monitor stuff, maybe. A couple of orange wires. This is definitely, I believe, a monitor plug. I think. Okay, then we come up and the uh, interlock is hanging and then it goes up there, here's your power switch and wiring comes over here and then you've got your speaker wire and that's the power for the fluorescent. And that's it. That's all she wrote for that. I think the next thing I'm going to do is pull that all out. And then I want to mount this stuff in here. The monitor mount and find out what's going on here. That might just be the monitor mount, I don't, I don't know. So I'll go ahead and figure that out and uh, go from there. Okay, have the monitor mount in. I do have these bolts. Um, hmm. Yeah, this thing, when I put this in, it pulled, this cabinet was a good 5 sixteenths of an inch or so wide. And it really pulled the sides of the cabinet in. Really, really drew it in. So I had to grab the uh, glass and make sure it still fit. And it does. Fits nice and perfectly snug in there. Yeah, so that's this is also stability stability for the cabinet. This thing in here keeps it together. So yeah, I did use the original one that was in Berserk. Just kind of hammered this back down. It was kind of pulled out. I just hammered it back down. So yeah, good to go. Removed that. Uh, I already showed that. Yeah. One step at a time. So we got the monitor mount in. And uh, yeah, so. I guess the next thing is to tackle that harness. I'll replace the harness with the other one. You know what? No, 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 no. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tackle the sliding door. I'm going to put the uh, mount the hardware in here for the sliding door. So, yeah. Yeah, so let's get to that. Okay, so here's the sliding panel. And this right here is the top piece. This goes in the bottom of the cabinet. And this slides like that. That's how that slides. So you can probably grease this, and I'll, I'll do that. But we'll go ahead and screw this down. It looks like one, two, actually one, two, three screws they used. So I'll grab three screws and we'll mount this thing. Okay, just had to douse myself with mosquito spray. Cannot believe how bad the mosquitoes are right now. It's terrible. Okay, you can tell that they had th this thing mounted with three screws. So I'm locating the original three screw holes. And I can see them, they're right here. One, two, three. So we'll go ahead and uh, remove this and just kind of line it up. One, two, three, just like that. Start at the front here. OK, 
Okay, I can't see what I'm doing. So I'll come back over here. Okay, and that is how it is. And then, yeah, so now we'll go in and there's a slide that goes right here. And that is there, there, and there. You can see the screws. So we'll go ahead and see how that goes in next. Okay, so now I've got this thing ready to go. And what I had to do, this board set came with this but it did not have these brackets also what was was uh, given to me did not have this piece right here this little mounting rail so I was able to just use what was on here and then take the brackets off of that guy and put the brackets on so now I will be able to mount this as it was. So I'm going to take this out there and do that. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is kind of line these brackets up. Here's the first one. Right there. Grab a screw and just kind of get it started. And that's too small of a screw. And it actually uses bolts. Okay. This thing actually uses a through bolt. A little carriage bolt. So I'm going to have to go get carriage bolts. Not screws. So I'm going to see if I... Well, it's Sunday, damn all right, I'm going to have to remove this tomorrow. I'm going to have to go to Home Depot or somewhere and get some uh, one, one and a half inch, one and a quarter inch carriage bolt, six of them to put through with uh, lock washers. And then we'll mount that thing in there. I'm going to pull it out because right now I... I can't mount it in there. I don't have the right hardware. So we'll carry on tomorrow. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. This is part one. We got a little bit done on it. We got that, uh, well, we got it taken apart, got it blown out a little bit. Um, went ahead and put the monitor mount in. And that really cinched the cabinet up. That's a good, uh, good stability for the cabinet. We started to put the board set in and mount it in and everything we got all the hardware figured out everything that we need yet I found out I need carriage bolts I need thin they're not like a 5 16th bolt it's you know maybe a quarter inch a quarter inch carriage bolt about an inch and a quarter long with lock washers and nuts I need six of those I'm going to run to the Home Depot or the local hardware store, preferably, and pick that stuff up tomorrow. And we will pick up on this. I do want to put out a video on this somewhat somewhat frequently because I want to be able to have this done and play Berserk. I really do. So I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next.